quickest, easiest way of making a fish slice with a minimum amount of energy lost. And I'm bored anyway. <laughs> 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 Watch out, knife don't fall yeah. out. <laughs> she pinching. Minimal amount of effort. Nice. Didn't take long, did it? Sure. Now you've got like a little small plank of wood which you can just sculp and uh, slope off the end to make a spatula. Cliff Richard, as we call it. Cliff Richard. <laughs> Son, you'll be a spatula boy. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys, that's a Wessex thing. <laughs> Ready made chopping block. Yeah, of course. Uh, dual purpose, sir. I'll tell you what, these cookeries are great little tools, aren't they, to oh, work great with? Little tools. Yeah. Compared to what you usually handle, mate, that's a little tool. <laughs> It's nice. Right, I'm getting too close to my fingers, I'll just do. Yeah. And in case anyone's interested, yes, this tree is dead and dying. Yeah. I came down, well, I've been here in a matter of two years and it's been down here at least six months. Yeah. Well, Scott's been doing this for quite some time. He hasn't. This is not the first time he's ever done it. So he has sort of, um, should we say, near on perfected the technique to creating something well, like this in short space of time. It's not anyone could just do this for the first ever time and do it in like two or three minutes. It does take a lot of time and effort. And care. See, I'm, I'm only striking from there. I'm not bringing it down from the height. Yeah, you don't need what to. What if I miss my hat? <laughs> oh no. So that is. It's an important thing to keep your blade sharp. If you try doing that with a blunt blade, you'll be there all day long. And I'm not here to be a hero either. Nah. It looks uncool on, on camera and I'm doing this. And that's what I'm doing. Doesn't matter, mate. Don't care. Nice idea with the old chopping block as well. It's a nice workable height as well, isn't it? Yep. Perfect. C and E filling E, so nearly there. So, so the fire's um, dying down now. Um, we're going to get it to sort of... Um, just before it coals up, of course, realise we haven't got a spatula of any description, so in the field you have to improvise, right? Oh, so, yeah. making our own, and uh, oh, so you get a nice big breakfast on the go. Feeling rather hungry, I don't know about you, mate. I should lift an egg. Yeah. That'll do. Of course it will. Take the corners off. A thousand and one uses for a cookery. <laughs> well, there's probably many more than that, isn't it, actually? Supposed to be just taking people's heads off, but we, we're, <laughs> we're just adaptable. So we've let the fire go right down to cook on coals. We don't really want to cook on flames, because if you plan on doing eggs on flames, it's just going to be a childish mess, really. <laughs> So, Childish charred mess, yeah. Yeah, you just use your loaf a bit, you know, just um, what would you cook on in the kitchen at home? That's, no. that's how you're going to do. And already that oil is absolutely, yeah, yeah. And that's hot, and that's not on flames. Might back it off a bit more yet. Because Ali's a bastard to cook on. Look, I just laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... So for eggs, it might be an idea to take that off the heat and cook it well, gonna, on the floor. I'm going to move that away. Move that away. That's calmed down now. Yeah, it's taking the heat away from it, isn't it? I'll take it off the heat because that's yeah. still going to stay hot in there for about five minutes. 
put it on the dirt, mate. And the heat, the residual heat in the oil is just going to be just right for that. Well, that and the metal. And it's still half on. I got that beauty. Yes. Well done. That ain't easy, mate, is it? You're there for ages fishing around trying to get it out, and it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, well, that's, that's glove hot, that is. Atomic Heroes from when I was a young boy. There's a phrase that's um, immortalised, etched on my memory, and it is from Roland Hardy. A job slowly done is surely done. Absolutely. That's another funny mess you got me into. <laughs> the other one, Laura and I. <laughs> that was, one. Is. Was it Blue Ridge Mountains or? The Inter Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Was the song. The Lonesome Pine. That that film, it was called Lonesome Pine. I don't know what the actual movie was called. Way Out West. Way Out West, whatever. Way Out West, yeah. So Laura was on the donkey, on yes, the mule. Right. The mule, yeah. And, he, and it's just not going enough. Right? <laughs> so Oliver already goes, give it some, you know. <laughs> Oh, he says, I'm saving that for the hills. <laughs> Genius, mate. <laughs> That's just <laughs> bloody brilliant. And the trails up the lonesome path. All right. Touch more heat. See, that's my control, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, this ain't going to be all like cooked up in one go and served up at once. It's just going to be food as it comes. Go gentle. Put it's it like um, aluminium. I think we can call it um, English breakfast tapas, can't we? Tapas? Yeah. Yeah. As you go. <laughs> That's gently cooking. If anyone's bored by watching this, just fast forward, it's up to you. But, uh, nah, this is real time. This is exactly how it is. But there's, there's no doubt about it. Ferocious fire, aluminium pan, thin wall. You're just going to blacken everything up, aren't you? Complete waste of time, mate. Ruined it. Right, can you pass me my lid of tranja, please? Yeah. I can flop mine out. Baby, damn, be... another Dublon ton in the might woods. Have a bit of coffee in there. Don't matter. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Camping clean. Oh, I said that to Simon, he, now, pissed, him, he pissed himself. Here's the other trick. Ready? Ambient temperature, 15 degrees. What's that? 15 degrees. Warm your bloody pan up. Yeah, it's like warming your plate, isn't it? Just, just... Get it, I don't know, 45, 50, 60. Not raging. If you can't pick it up with your bare hand, you've done it too hot. Yeah. So you drag it off your glove, you wait for it to cool down a bit, then put your food in. It's not, it's not really hard, still is got, it? <laughs> still got coffee in there, so it's not that hot. Mmm. So that's... That could turn it non-stick, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Mmm. Time to tuck in. Well, for eating, it's pretty good. I like for flipping. Yeah. Oh! Eggs in the field, baby! Just gonna, uh... Right. Now I'm gonna evaporate can... the, the wash water in my mug to get yeah. that out. Do you want yours flipped or are you quite happy? Oh yeah, work? flip it, mate, and that'd be buddy. I'll trust you. Is it you're a good egg, Scott? I try. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it's a dog. Oh, and another dog. An Irish setter and a springer of some description. Morning. You smell eggs. Yeah. They were having a good old time. Mick from Animal Tendencies knows all about this, doesn't you, Mick? <laughs> Spatuloon, and we're doing eggs as well. How ironic. One, two, three. Oh, man. Just about. Expert. Well, Tesco Value eggs are quite small. Right. As sure as eggs is eggs. Watch your temperature of picky uppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should sizzle now. <sighs> yeah. You got it. So. That is. Got the water out. Nice and dry and clean. 
And another good thing about heating up your metal eating utensils, it's like a kills the bacteria as well. So if you've got any bugs and whatnot, you just fry them. You just cook the hell out of it and you're pretty much sterilised, so that's all good. All right, let's warm yours through now. Just come off the sizzle. You never tweak. And notice as I'm putting the sticks on, it's around the pan. Yeah. Not in the pan. Right, now it's starting to go. Reckon? Top buddy draw, mate. Yeah, eggs first and then bacon second when that bloody because the white crap and white yeah, crap yeah, yeah. a bit. There you go. Top bloody draw. Oh, I got half of it eight anyway. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah. It's not all frazzled and sliced up. No. And look at that. Absolutely perfectly cooked, Scott. That's, that's exactly right. how I like it, mate. Yeah, but you, you can't put it on a roaring Just fire. right. Nice one. Simply don't do it. Wow. Gee, this is a nice job, mate. It's really cool. Right. I just got to keep putting the gloves on. Oh, I remember. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. You go, you go with like Foxy 151, isn't it? It's like, uh, <laughs> it's got it all. Man. Got chip pan. Crazy. Towering inferno. That's like living outdoors, but indoors. <laughs> yeah. Fair play to him. At the end of the day, they're outdoors and they're doing it quite a lot as well at Camp Baza. Oh, he's got it down to a T. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the, the effort that's gone in up there lately, it's phenomenal. Really hats off to them, all of them, the guys that just mucked in and helped. Cleared the area, you know, built some structures, the kitchen and everything. Everyone's got all their place. Is it his land or he, he rents it? Or? No, a friend of his owns it, I think. And um, he's pretty much given him a free reign to do whatever he wants. So, cool. he's a cooker. And there should be a lid on top of that, which could probably be a really good frying pan, if actually, now we think about it. It's, that's all it is. And the cooker actually sits inside it. It goes under your seat in your armoured Land Rover or in your Challenger tank, maybe. Left mine at home. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, I'm give Council keep telling me to park, move it somewhere else. Like I say on some of my videos, some of you who haven't um, seen them, um, especially the younger viewers, fire is always um, conscious on free important things that's fuel heat and oxygen and all Scott done there was um, see it was dying down a bit just added some oxygen and uh, the fuels on there it's hot enough underneath and um, hey presto your fire's alive again and all I've got to do to control it is yeah yeah it's just um if you remember the three basics of fire if you've got any problems with your fire then if you remember that you get yourself out of a jam no problem Egg number two. And it looks like they are evolving, they're getting better every time. And let's just see the cut test. It's a nice yolk inside. Perfect. The revolution will not go better with coke. The revolution will not fight germs that may cause bad breath. The revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live.